Hi, I'm Jim W6LG for Ham Radio Basics. I thought it would be interesting to test two transceivers. Um, Ivy Asu FT450, it's the original model. Value about $500. I think I paid around $700 for it when I bought it. And this is an Elecraft K3, been modified to K3S, has upgraded filters, um, 100 watt uh, PA, antenna tuner, IO ports across the back, uh, upgraded filters, uh, audio recorder, pretty much everything you put in a K3. This has a retail value of, at new anyway, of over $5,000. So this is roughly 10 times the price of this. And the question then would be, what's the difference? Can you hear the difference? And I'm going to play the recording. I'll do it with um, uh, Audacity and I'll show the waveforms of the audio. I'll mark who's roughly who's trans transmitting um, which guy. And I'll switch between the two receivers. Also, uh, you'll hear K2RD Ira, who's my friend on the other side of the Sierra Nevada. I'm in Grass Valley. He's in Reno. We're about 70 miles apart. Because we're so close on 20 meters, we don't hear each other all that well. But um, you'll hear Ira, and that's a pretty good test because he's really weak. And how does he sound as I switch back and forth? Now, I'm not going to tell you which receiver is which. Um, I'm going to ask you to vote. So pick the one that sounds best to you. Uh, let me know which one does sound the best. Just a couple of word description as to why. I would recommend you listen for, can you detect a difference between the noise level on the two receivers and the peak signal? So we're kind of guessing at what is a signal to noise? And yeah, we don't have equipment to measure that, but we're just sort of looking at it or listening to it. So as you listen to it, think about the difference in price to about $500, about $5,000. Now, there are lots of transceivers that we could test, and I do plan to do some more. Uh, I've got an ICOM IC7000, which I think is going to sound really good. If I can convince one of my neighbors to lend uh, a, a, an ICOM 7300, I'd like to do an A-B test on those two. I think that would be really interesting. So again... Listen to the two and think about which one sounds the best and vote for either receiver A, or sorry, receiver number one or receiver number two. Uh, and this, just say why. Clearer, uh, better signal to noise, uh, whatever your description is. And keep in mind, some of that can be cleaned up with uh, some audio stage uh, processing that we'll talk about in a subsequent video. This morning I got an email from uh, KL3DO Eric and he happened to record me on 20 meters and so I've stuck that at the end of the uh, audio recording and you might find it interesting it's um, uh, Eric apparently does he's in Alaska does the KL3DO does a lot of uh, uh, antenna work experimenting going into the field really does a lot of stuff. In any case the main thing is Vote for a receiver. Not tell you which one's which. Vote for number one or number two uh, at the end, and just a brief couple of words about why. If you enjoy this video, please subscribe. I've got a lot more things in the works. Uh, I get behind once in a while, as I have recently. Um, trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year, that's asking for a lot, but we're at 6,000 in a little more than a year, so that's pretty good. Anyway, for now, 73, watch the rest of this video, enjoy. So powerful whiskey calling CQDX, CQDX, CQDX. There is Delta Lima 5 radio, Bravo whiskey. Delta Lima 5 radio, Bravo whiskey calling CQDX, CQDX, CQDX. CQDX, 20 meters. Uh, K2 radio Delta, Ira, good morning, how are you doing? Uh, Ira? Yeah, I was, uh, was checking the band and I was listening to the beacons and... Uh, there is not much going on. I heard Kilo 6 mic calls. Remote via uh, Hungary. So uh, I wasn't too optimistic, but then uh, I was checking the beacons and I heard W6, uh, W6 coming through pretty well, so I thought. K2 uh, RD, the 05 RBW. Okay, very good. Just the 05 RBW. Yeah,